Good morning, assessors. Today, I am going to demonstrate the conduct competency assessment. I already checked the facilities, the tools and equipment necessary for the assessment, the test package from our test representative, the application form and sub-assessment guide accomplished by our candidates. Now I am ready. Candidates, you may now come in. Okay, take your seat. Before we start, let me check first your attendance. As I call your name, kindly present to me your admission slip. Mr. Donald Tarsena, may I have your admission slip? Can you please check the spelling of your name here on the attendance sheet? Okay, you may now sign. Next, Mr. Limo Bedanya. Okay, may I have your admission slip? Check the spelling of your name. Okay, you may now sign. Take your seat. Okay, candidates, good morning. How are you today? Fine. So, you are here today to take the national assessment for the qualification visual graphics design NC3, right? Okay, let me introduce myself first. I am Ms. Janet B. Bonga, your accredited assessor for visual graphics design NC3 here in Tesla Bulacan Provincial Office. Now, let us acknowledge the presence of our test representative, Mr. Juanito Santos. He is here to oversee the proceedings of the hour assessment if it's according to the competency standard. And don't worry, he will not be the one to assess you. Okay, question is, why do we need to take the national assessment? Do you know the reason? Okay, so the reason why we have to take the national assessment is to identify our level of competency and certify if it's according to the competency standard. Okay, clear. Next natin, we have here the role of assessor. Siyempre, since binanggit ko kanina na isa-certify ang narrative skills natin, that will be my role. I will be the one to evaluate your performance or the evidences that you will have today and I will be the one to decide if it's according to the competency standard. Ako ang magsa-certify sa inyo later on. Okay, malinaw yan. Now, we have here the core competencies for the VGD NC3. So, it has seven units. The first one is create design brief. The second one is create vector graphics using graphics application program. As well as number three, create raster graphics using graphics application program. So, itong tatlo na to ay nakakluster, which means hindi man natin i-perform, but the knowledge will reflect on our performance later. So, ano bang ipe-perform natin? These are units number 4, which is create design for print media. 5, create design for electronic media. 6 is create design for boot product window display. And last is create design for product packaging. So, yan yung apat na units na kailangan natin gawaan ng output during the assessment proceedings. Okay, now, during the assessment, you will be assessed according to your knowledge, which is 20%, skills 20%, and your attitude is 60% for a total of 100. Ibig sabihin, pagdating sa industry, kahit anong galing natin or kahit anong alaman natin, wala siya kung hindi naman good ang ating attitude. Kaya lahat yan ay i-assess natin mamaya. Okay, now, after the assessment, you might receive any of the two possible results. The first one is competent. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng pinerform natin ay na-meet natin yung standard. Pasok tayo sa competency standard. Pag sinabi namang natin competent, huwag tayong malulungkot. It only means na there are some lacking in our performances. Maaring hindi natapos or maaring mayroon pang kulang. But that doesn't mean na wala naman talaga tayong totaling alam or kayang gawin. So, kaya nga tinawag na not yet. Clear? Now, how am I going to assess you? This will be the assessment methods. So, I will be collecting evidences through your demonstration and oral questioning. And after you do the performance task or performance test, ay kailangan yung i produce yung output through printing. Yun yung tinatag nating portfolio. Ok, 
Okay, so pag nakolek ko na yung evidences na yun, of course, I am going to evaluate them and check if you met the standard competency. Okay, clear? Now, we have here what we call right to appeal. Ibig sabihin nun, in case that you got not yet competent and you're not happy about it, you have questions, especially on the proceedings of the assessment, parang meron kayo napansin na hindi tama, don't worry, uh, you will have 24 hours to file an appeal at the protest the provincial office of Bulacan. Okay? Next natin, allowable adjustment. So, maaari talaga magkaroon na hindrances anytime. Sample is pagkawala ng kuryente. Since we are going to use electricity and nagkaroon ng aberya, for example, nagkaroon ng a 15 minutes breakdown sa electricity, breakdown, I'm sorry, sa electricity, ang kailangan natin gawin ay maghintay lang. Don't worry, yung time natin ay will freeze and we will extend your time frame. Another allowable adjustment is the instruction. If there are cases that you don't understand the instruction because they are in English language, just call my attention and I'll be happy to explain it to you in Filipino language. Okay? So, yan ang mga allowable adjustment natin. La Next is personal needs. Pag sinabing personal needs, may karapatan tayong gumamit ng comfort room during your assessment. Andun tayo sa paggamit ng comfort room. Meron tayong comfort room for the boys, meron din comfort room for the girls nandun sa bandang likuran. Kung sakali naman biglang sumama ang pakiramdam natin at gusto natin tapusin yung assessment, mayroon naman ditong first aid kit at saka mga medicine. Okay, and last, confidentiality. Don't worry about the confidentiality of the assessment proceedings kasi ito ay magiging uh, confidential within this room. Ibig sabihin, whatever happened, ano man maging resulta or napag-usapin natin, it will only be between the two of us. Kahit ilan man tayo dito, sa iyo ko lang sasabihin yung result and it will not be broadcasted to anyone. So, for your for the confidentiality of the proceedings here, sana kayo rin ay huwag natin siya share kung ano man ang pwedeng natin sa... Uh, I'm sorry, kung ano man ang mga nagawa ninyo dito, hindi dapat ma-share sa ibang tao, especially yung mga susunod na mag-take ng assessment. Okay? Now, in case you got competent result, syempre masaya tayo. So, this will be now the procedures on how to get your NC or National Certificate from TESDA. First, kailangan i-ready nyo yung cards na ibibigay ko sa inyo mamaya so, it's just like a small paper na magsisalbing claiming stub ninyo. So, doon nakasulat yung result and my signature and your name. So, i-present nyo yun, kailan? After three days of your assessment. Just bring also your one-piece passport size picture with white background na dapat ang picture natin ay naka-formal attire tayo or you may color. At the same time, white yung background and quality photo paper. Then last is the minimum fee of 50 pesos. In case na maiwala niyo yung cards na sinasabi ko, yung tinatag na competency assessment result summary, all you have to do is to ask an uh, affidavit of loss. Kailangan na alam yung mga details na kailangan niyo sabihin sa pagpapagawa nito para makuha niyo yung NC niyo. In case naman na meron tayong important uh, event na kailangan atinan at hindi natin makuha yung NC na kailangan nyo na makuha for today, you may ask your immediate family member na kumuha nito as long as nag-provide kayo ng authorization letter, your ID, and the ID of your family member. Oh, madali lang kunin ang NC. Do you have question? Wala na. Clear? Kung wala na kayong tanong, let's now proceed to the specific instructions. So, malapit na tayo dun sa pinaka-actual assessment. Okay, before that, I'll give you first your candidate number and ID. Okay, Mr. Donald Tercena, you will be candidate number one. Here is your ID. Limba Bedanya, you will be candidate number two. And this is your ID. Okay, next is, I will give you a specific instruction. Candidate number one. And here is yours, candidate number two. So, ibig sabihin, 
Kung ano may mga nakasulat dyan, kailangan din natin basahin mabuti, especially yung complete details for every project. But, I will discuss those important parts. First, ang sabi dyan, you will be given 8 hours. 8 hours is for creating a project. 3 hours is for printing, for oral questioning, and for feedback. Okay, dun tayo sa 5 hours. For 5 hours, it says there that you have to create 5 projects. The first one is the logo. Gagawin nyo siya, idodraw nyo, based sa ibibigay kong sample. The second one is create print media design, which is brochure na trifold, back-to-back -back ang ide-design natin. So, lahat ng required elements ay nakasaad naman dyan sa test instruction. The second one, or the third one is the website but don't worry, hindi naman lahat ng web pages ay gagawin natin it's only the product page the requirement is, kailangan may showcase natin yung product, kailangan siya ay user friendly for internet users, at the same time clickable yung ilang elements and dapat ay nag open sa browser the other details are indicated in the instruction kayo ang magi interpret na the fourth one is create design for both product window display, which is a poster. So, ibig sabihin, gagawa kayo ng poster na ang size niya ay naka-indicate din dyan sa test instruction. And last is the box, which, which is for the product packaging. So, bakit box? Siyempre, importante na kailangan naka-encase yung product natin na given. Okay, kailangan sakto siya, ikakat natin, i-assemble. Importante hindi mawawala is yung barcode. Okay, malino ba yung five projects na kailangan natin produce later? Okay, walang tanong. The other details, basahin mo buti ang test instruction. You still have questions. Kung wala naman, okay, you may now start. Okay, at this moment, Pumunta tayo sa candidate number 1, ikutan natin, just observe, tingnan kung paano siya gumagawa, especially with the use of the program, paano siya nagko-conceptualize, check sa rating sheet, pag sapat na, go to candidate number 2, you observe, i-check ang rating sheet, kung sapat na yung segundo na kayo ay nakapag-check, you may now give them time na May ilang minuto na lang natitira. Just like this. Okay, candidates, you still have 10 minutes left. Okay, candidates, you may now save your work. It's already time. Okay. You may now stop working. Save and put your output on the top of your computer. Okay, you're done. Both of you. Okay, candidates number one and two, you may now go to the waiting area. Just wait for my call as I am going to give you your oral questioning. Okay, let's start with candidate number one. Please come here. Candidate number one, here is my question. Okay, if you are going to create a design, when are you going to use RGB mode and CMYK color mode? Okay. Last question, what is the powerful tool used for combining colors? Okay, thank you for that answer. You may now go back to the waiting area and kindly call candidate number two. Okay, how are you candidate number two? Fine. Okay, so this will be your question. Question number one, uh, what will be the proper resolution if you are going to create a billboard with a size 10 feet by 8 feet? Okay. Next question is, how are you going to minimize the size of your file if you are going to give it to client as her copy? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, candidates, just give me a couple of minutes as I'm going to evaluate the performance that you had, the output, and the answer from your oral questioning. Okay. Okay, I am done. Now, I am ready to give you the feedback and the result. Let's start with candidate number one. Please come here. Okay, candidate number one, how are you? 
Oh, it says that you are happy. Are you happy with your work? Good. So, first, how are you going to rate yourself from 1 to 10 and 10 is the highest? Okay, 8. So, good. So, it seems that you are confident with your work. Okay. So, Mr. Torsena, based on your work and your answer, ito yung feedback ko. Kanina during the performance, I'm, as I am observing you, it seems that you are really confident on how you are using the program. It's kitang-kita na kabisado mo yung paggamit ng tools, you are very much focused, and I noticed that you are really good in using the principles of design. One of the best uh, principles that you used here is the color contrast. Nakikita ko sa lahat ng output mo, nakitang kita element against the background kasi ay na-achieve mo to through your uh, contrast principle. Principle, I'm sorry. At the same time, nakikita rin natin yung harmony. Kaya nga nung nakita ko yung output mo, pwede na eh. Hindi siya parang project lang. Talagang pwede na ilinya sa industry. Gawa na siya ng professional designer. Although, everything is good. May, ilan, may napansin lang ako na kailangan mong i-change. Ito yung pagsasave ng work. Kasi napansin ko, minsan... Ang haba na nung ginagawa mo or napakarami na pero you are not saving all the time. Especially dun sa isang output, tapos na or patapos na siya pero never ka pang nagsisave. So, kailangan secure mo yung file mo na dapat ay nagsisave ka lagi. Kasi kung sakali mo magkaroon ng abiriat na biglang namatay yung PC, wala tayong mahahabol na design dahil hindi siya nag-auto backup. It's just only a reminder. But regarding to your overall performances with your output, especially with the answer, it's good na alam ang difference with, between RGB and CMYK, even the color wheel, you were able to answer that. That's really excellent. And with that, congratulations. That will be your result, competent. Okay, are you happy with that? Okay, good. So, congratulations. You know already how to claim your and see from test the right. Pero bago mo maklaim, syempre, kailangan hawak mo muna yung course mo. At with that, kailangan isign mo muna itong rating sheet. Okay, thank you. Last is itong course, pakisign. So, itong course na to ay marireceive mo mamaya, daanan mo sa office, kasi kailangan natin papirma sa assessment center manager. Okay? So, for now, balik muna tayo sa waiting area and kindly call candidate number 2. Hello, candidate number two. How are you? Oh, bakit medyo malungkot? Okay, dahil hindi mo natapos yung, prod yung product packaging. Oh, sige, check mo na natin yung gawa mo. Have a seat. Okay, so regarding your work, candidate number two, um, sige, rate mo na natin yung sarili mo. If you are going to rate yourself from 1 to 10, 10 is the highest. Ano ang uh, assessment mo sa sarili mo? Six. Why six? Because you were not able to finish your work. Okay, sige, explain natin yan. So first, nakita ko during your performance, as I am observing you, nakikita ko naman na you know how to use the program, you are using a lot of tools, you are concentrated, nakita ko naman yung sense of designing mo, and your concept is really nice. So from the logo, magaling ka sa vector, Dun sa, dun naman sa print media and electronic media, they are good, good enough for the industry. And medyo ano lang tayo dito sa, medyo parang namadali mo itong poster design. Kasi hindi ko nakita yung logo. Very important na ang logo dapat ay present in all types of advertising material. Then, the last one is box. Ito ba yung sinasabi hindi natapos? Okay, hindi nga. Eh, very important na ang product packaging, although nagko-close yung box natin, na-assemble mo siya, pero incomplete details. So, uh, hindi siya magiging uh, attractive sa client, magmumukha siyang brand X kasi nga may kulang sa design mo. So, alam ko naman may idea ka, kaya lang nangyari ay tinapos ka ng time. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kailangan talaga matapos siya kasi sa industry, mayroon talagang tinatawag na deadline. So, it means ay kinapos tayo. Ang kailangan mo lang ipolish ay medyo bibilisan mo yung paggawa ng design. 
the, the designing concept is there, uh, how to use the tools, nandun na rin siya. Ang problem mo na lang ay kung paano medyo bibilisan yung pag navigate ng program. Clear ba yun? But don't worry, pwede naman tayo mag-take uli ng assessment. Kaya lang, ang aking advice bago tayo uli mag-take, make sure you are ready again. Paano? Kung ano yung mga feedback na naibigay ko sa'yo, kailangan mo i-enhance, which is kailangan mo lang bilisan ng konti, at saka yung alamin talaga yung complete details na required sa isang design, ay just take a practice. Kung nakapag-practice ka na, consult an expert person in designing, kung okay na ba yung design natin. At the same time, you may also look for some ideas from the internet. Pag lahat yun ay ginawa mo and you keep on practicing, I'm sure the next time you try to take the assessment, kaya mo na siyang ma-meet yung standard at makakuha ng competent result. And since this is for qualification, kailangan lahat talaga ipasado, kinulang tayo ng isa, alam na natin ang result. Tama, natin competent. And with that, okay ba sa yon? O oh, good, so nakakaintindihan tayo. Okay, kung okay na sa'yo, can you please now sign here on the rating sheet? Next, pakisign naman itong cards mo. So, itong cards na to ay marireceive mo later sa office. Kailangan na natin papirma sa TESDA. Or not sa TESDA, sa Assessment Center Manager. Okay, you may now go back to your seat. Okay, at this moment, I am now going to record the result of the summary of the assessment on the attendance sheet. Okay, then I'm going now to arrange the documents. Okay, candidates, are you ready to go home? So once again, yung reminder ko lang, everything that happens here will remain confidential. So whatever man ang nangyari ng araw na to, just keep on learning. Mas gagaling pa kayo kung ano may naipakita nyo ngayon. Good luck to your career. God bless. And you may now go home. Daan sa office para makuha yung course. Okay. Now, I am now ready to submit these documents to the assessment center office. I am going to wait for the RWAC and check if the encoded results are matching on the attendance sheet. If they are match, I am now going to sign the RWAC. And that's the end of my demonstration for conduct competency assessment.